Artificial intelligence and automation is making cold calling virtually obsolete. In this video, I'm going to share with you why cold calling is probably the worst marketing strategy in the world because of modern day technology. And I know this topic is controversial, especially to my cold callers out there uh, in the real estate industry. And I want to let you know that before I dive into the content, I was once a cold caller. So if you're going to have a tough time swallowing this pill, I can completely relate to you, but I'm just asking everybody to have an open mind as I walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to break away from cold calling and leverage digital marketing and automation to book appointments in your calendar and close more deals. Hi, my name is Isaiah Colton, and I am a, a digital marketing and business growth expert. I help thousands of small businesses across the country, realtors, loan officers, anyone in the home services industry, uh, master the art and science of digital marketing and modern day business strategies to scale their business from six figures to seven figures. And if they've hit seven figures, uh, put them on a path to eight figures. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down a step-by-step -step process on how to break away from cold calling. With technology changing and how consumer behavior is changing with technology, we need to make sure that our marketing and sales strategies up to date with those changes, because if not, we're going to become obsolete. You're not going to be competitive. You're going to have trouble getting new business. So let's dive into the video. So let's start off talking to you a little bit about my background and my story when it comes to sales and marketing. So um, I have an 18 year track record in sales and marketing even before I got involved into real estate. And I actually started out cold calling. I started out my career uh, in high school, going into college as a cold caller. I worked for a, an insurance broker and uh, he had me make a ton of outbound calls to banks, individuals, anyone that uh, would use his services. And it was really interesting experience because I realized that um, cold calling sucked. But in a weird sort of way, I kind of, uh, once I got good at it, I got hooked at it hooked on it. And I started studying cold calling. Um, I read and I read uh, books like Smart Calling um, by Art Subcheck. I read uh, all the famous sales books and I got really into the art and science of outbound prospecting. And when I got good at it, I realized that there was a, there was a, a skill set here that a lot of people didn't have. And if I could teach that skill set to other people that uh, maybe uh, there, there was an awesome future for myself. And so fast forward years later, uh, I ended up using that skill set to help uh, small businesses start up inside sales operations. And I made a lot of money doing that. And uh, then I actually found a company that not only did I want to consult for, but I wanted to partner with because I loved it. And I became a partner and VP of sales of this company and built an inside sales force, all making outbound calls. And uh, they're largely B2B calls. And we built that company to over $10 million in recurring revenue. In three years, we hit the uh, Inc. 500. We were one of the fastest growing companies in the country because of how fast we built it. And it was all on outbound calls. There was almost zero advertising. And so when I say that I, my first love is cold calling, now you know why. I actually fast forwarded to real estate when I decided to leave that venture and partner up with uh, my my partner, uh, Mark Picaretto and John Scala in starting a small boutique brokerage, we actually uh, started off developing a model that was based on cold calling. We uh, looked at the marketplace. We decided to niche on the seller side, and then we niched within a niche uh, for sale by owners expireds and cash offers. And uh, then we came up with a really, really attractive offer. And then we built a whole outbound model, outbound prospecting model around that offer. And I started out with just me making cold calls, setting up appointments and doing virtual listing uh, appointments. And then uh, basically saying, hey, look, um, if, if you like this offer, let's come out and let's see if we can then determine the price of your home and see if it makes sense to work together. And it was a really cool model because we went from cold call to virtual appointment to then in-person appointment. And we really would nail almost 90% of all of our appointments with this model uh, because we because of we wouldn't go out on the appointment unless we knew we had a really good chance or it made sense to go out on the appointment. And so we did 151 transactions with this model. 
Uh, almost 70 of those transactions our first year uh, of the 151 were actually outbound phone calls, meaning people that did not know who we were. And that model was great. And then we scaled that model uh, and we started hiring other inside sales agents to do what I was doing, uh, making the outbound calls. And uh, that's when, it, you know, that's a, a totally different art. So if you've ever, if you ever like have trained somebody to cold call, it's very different than actually cold calling yourself. And so we actually built this unbelievable uh, infrastructure of inside sales agents where it got to the point where we had, we got so good at it, we couldn't attract agents to our team fast enough. Um, so once we got to about 20 agents, we ended up having to start up a broker to broker referral program where uh, we would refer appointments out to other agents in different parts of the country. And then within about three years, we ended up with over 500 referral agents across the country, in addition to our local agents and uh, literally moving billions and billions of dollars. Now you're asking yourself, uh, you're, you're probably asking yourself, Isaiah, why are you telling me this big, long backstory about cold calling when you're telling me not to cold call anymore? Well, because something happened starting in 2017 and going into 2018 that rocked my world. And that was uh, a couple different things that were really important in starting off with consumer behavior. We noticed more and more that people did not want to get a phone call. And so it became harder and harder for the average person, our, our agents or our inside sales agents to get good enough to actually have a conversation by phone at scale. Uh, we had certain individuals that were very talented at doing it, but uh, we saw it as becoming less scalable uh, of a model because it was really, really hard to teach and train people. That was number one. Number two, the TPCA laws changed, meaning uh, cold calling a cell phone became illegal. And with landlines actually, uh, you know, you know, basically who has a landline anymore, right? Like in 2017, 18, like who had a landline? So when it became illegal to cold call a cell phone, um, when nobody opted in and landlines were going away, we said to ourselves, we have to have a different strategy. And I know a lot of you are thinking like, what do you mean cold calling a cell phone is illegal? Just look it up. You probably don't know, but every time you make a cold call to a cell phone without your permission in most uh, states, and uh, I believe even nationwide, it is illegal. So look it up, check for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Consult uh, your own legal advice. So that started happening. And then uh, other factors started happening like new and better ways to generate leads and to generate inbound opportunities using digital marketing. And, uh, and so uh, we kind of started exploring this digital marketing world and we got really good at generating inbound leads. We're like, wow, this is really cool. And on top of that, the uh, AI and chatbots started rolling out and uh, you where you could actually program artificial intelligence to have a conversation and qualify the leads even before a human being had to step into the conversation, decreasing the cost of labor. And so we went through this huge transition in learning curve. We spent millions of dollars developing a new structure and a better way to do uh, of doing business, not only for our broker brokerage, but also for uh, our broker broker referral clients. And what was really interesting is that rolling into 2019 is we dropped the whole structure that when a lead came in, we were able to have speed to lead uh, where uh, they would get an instant conversation, a phone call, a text message, an email, a ringless voicemail, uh, increasing the contact rate dramatically, providing better service, and then follow up drip campaigns where we would provide uh, opportunities where they could communicate with us uh, in their follow up by email, uh, where we have value added, added content. And we had a 10 by 10 and 24. Uh, a 12 by 24 strategy, meaning within the first 10 days, they'd get 10 contacts from us. And then if for whatever reason, there wasn't a response over the course of 24, um, uh, 24 months, okay, we would provide, or sorry, 12 months, we provide a 24 touch program that was mostly value added. And what happened with this structure is we would catch the people that are ready to buy now or sell now. And we would also catch the people that were, we'd sift and sort through the people that were not interested and then the people that just weren't ready yet, we would actually have them into a different stage in status. And the automation was helping us do this at a rapid pace like never before. And so what, ends up, what ended up happening is we were able to get double the amount of appointments for less money 
and a lot less headache, time, and energy. So it would take me 100 phone calls to get two or three or four appointments. Now I could make 20 calls and get the same amount of appointments. I don't know about you, but that just sounds like a smart decision. Okay. So, um, and so we, we kind of had this, uh, we kind of had this breakup, uh, this really sad breakup with cold calling because I made so much money and so did, uh, uh, our clients and the people that we taught with cold calling, but we realized, uh, that the world was changing and then COVID hit and then COVID went to another level. And for those of you that are cold callers, you probably experienced this, a uh, dramatic shift in how people wanted to communicate. And so now we live in a new world. We live in a digital world where you don't have to cold call anymore. If you have the right systems in place, starting with, uh, uh, number one, a great CRM, okay? Number two, great automated marketing campaigns. Number three, an awesome chat bot. Number four, an inside sales agent, okay, that can follow up on these leads for you, okay? And number five, long-term nurturing campaigns and revival campaigns to revive old leads in your database, then you'll put yourself in a position to never ever have to cold call again, have leads generated through multiple channels of, of marketing. There's a ton of great lead sources out there and uh, virtually you know, have a structure where you can get one to four appointments booked in your calendar every single day with a structure. And I teach this structure um, how to build a structure to thousands of agents all across the world. We call them uh, our seven listings and 30 day challenges. We also do lead generation, lead conversion challenges designed to get this infrastructure. I call, I call our sales acceleration blueprint uh, built into their business. And um, it's been life changing. It's uh, kind of a seven figure blueprint. It's a way to scale faster using digital marketing and AI. And um, if you found this video intriguing to you, and you find yourself chasing leads, door knocking, cold calling, or wondering where your next lead is going to be coming from, then I'd recommend that you uh, take, uh, you click on the link below and download my free guide um, called the Sales Acceleration Blueprint, where I walk you through literally chapter by chapter, step by step on how to build this blueprint for yourself in this guide. So uh, just to summarize here, number one, cold calling, door knocking, you can do it. I'm not saying you can't, okay? But guess what? I can take a horse and carriage across town, but that's probably not the quickest way to get there, right? Maybe if I want to go for a joyride or whatever it may be, but it's probably not the smartest way to get there, right? I want to get to point A to, to point B as fast as I possibly can. And so that's where you want to leverage digital marketing. You want to find good, good inbound lead sources, build your own funnel, leverage automation, Get a good CRM, good automation, leverage AI, and leverage your inside sales agent. And your appointments, the amount of appointments you'll be able to book uh, will far exceed your expectations. And now you can spend time smart prospecting and following up with people that you know are ready to do something now while the technology is automating everything for you. Does that sound good? Awesome. Well, click on the link below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, we're going to do part two on digital marketing and AI and how the world's changing. I'll see you in the next video.